Well, it's about that time of year. The comfrey has started growing. So today I'm going to be harvesting the comfrey to make some comfrey tea. Comfrey tea or comfrey juice as I like to call it. Either way, you wouldn't like to drink it, but I'm going to show you how to make it properly because I've seen a lot of people making videos on how to use comfrey juice and it's wrong. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to properly use the comfrey for, to make the, the best fertilizer in the world. Right, so as you can see, the comfrey is ready to be harvested. You want to get it just before it starts flowering, otherwise it, it loses its goodness. Um, this is just about to flower, so I've just caught it in time. So get, obviously get the secateurs and prune it right back. Don't be frightened. Just like that. So the next stage is this. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. Right, so the next stage. And like I say, this is where like, a lot of people go wrong. This is my comfrey bin. As you can see, it's got a tap on the bottom. There's a little bit of mesh there. To, just to keep the sludge from filling up the, clogging up the tap. So, get it in there, fill it right up to the top, as much as you can. Then what you want to do is get something to weight down the comfrey. Add a little bit of water to this size bucket. I would use a watering can full of water only. Pour it on, put the weight on and leave it. I've seen a lot of people who put them into watering butts, uh, water butts, but I'll explain about that in a minute. I'll crack on. If one of the comfrey plants has gone to flower, I usually just leave it for the bees because they love it. Right, that's that. Now that that will stay like that until it turns into black gold. Now th this is the this is where people seem to go wrong. I've noticed a lot of people fill these water butts up with comfrey and then just let the rainwater fill it up to the top. And then the thing with that is you don't know you're not getting the right mixture, if you know what I mean. 
Um, this is why it's best to do it like this. The stuff that comes out of there is just like thick, stinking, dark brown, horrible liquid, which what which was what I would do next when it's ready. I get a one liter bottle, fill it with that. Then I use 10 water, 10 liters of water to one liter of comfrey juice. And that is the perfect mixture. And if you're putting it in a, a water butt, for starters, you don't know how much you actually need, what, what you're putting in, you know what I mean? It's no good just putting a few little leaves in and thinking that's enough. If you're gonna use a water butt, fill it to the top, brim it, then put the weight down, just add a little bit of water. Preferably have a tap on so it's easier for you to get it out. But it's no good just putting a few comfrey leaves in a big water butt, letting the water fill up with the rain or whatever, because it's not the right concentration and you, you could be over feeding or you could be underfeeding your plants, you don't know. And just before I go there, this year I did a little experiment. Now there was a lot of sludge left in the bottom of that barrel. So I cleaned it out and I, I actually thought, wait a minute, this could be good. So I, I stuck it in a bucket in the greenhouse and dried it out and I've sieved it and I've made comfrey dust. Now I'll be testing this out during the season. Comfrey, by the way, is the best tomato and potato fertilizer you can get. I'm not sure about any other plants, but definitely potatoes and tomatoes will love, will love comfrey. So I hope this helps folks. I'll keep you updated on the comfrey dust. And let's see what happens with that and uh, like I say do it right the first time and you'll be alright for all season <laughs> whatever that means right I'm gonna get a cup of now I'll see you in a bit